One of the most powerful features in Tractor is its MIDI mapping capabilities. MIDI mappings allow DJs to create a set of customized mappings for their performance or workflow. A MIDI mapping allows you to assign any feature in Tractor to any of the buttons, faders, or knobs on a controller. And a customized MIDI mapping may inspire a DJ to create a new type of performance or just become a better DJ and performer in general. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your first MIDI mapping. And one thing I highly recommend before you begin mapping is to actually draw out a diagram of all of the tractor features you would like to map to the specific buttons on your controller. This will give you a bit of a road map and a visual guide to work with as you create the mapping and just keep you on the right track. Now, as for the type of controllers we're going to be mapping today, one thing you could do is you could start to map one of Native Instruments controllers, which are great. But there's so many fantastic mappings for these available online. I chose not to use this in my video today. I'm going to show you how you can make a mapping for a different type of controller here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on my computer now and we're going to start to create this mapping. So first thing you need to do is you need to navigate to Tractor's preferences here. And then you can hop down to the controller manager and you want to go to add in generic MIDI. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to assign the import and the outport. The import and the outport correspond with the in and the outports on your MIDI controller and they allow Tractor to communicate together with your MIDI controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the same name of my controller, so the Zone K2. And then in the assignment table, I'm going to go to Add In. And the first feature that I'm going to map is going to be in Deck Common, and I'm going to map the Play Pause button. So Play Pause, I'm going to click Learn here. And then I am going to click the button I would like to assign this feature to. In the Mapping Details section, Next thing I want to do is for the type of controller, I'm going to select button. And for the interaction mode, there's three types of interaction mode available. There's toggle, hold, and direct. What toggle means is that when you press down on the button, the tractor function is going to be enabled. And then when you press on the button again, the tractor function is disabled or turned off. What hold means here is that when you press down on the button, the tractor function is turned on and then when you take your finger off the button that tractor function turns off and lastly there's direct which sets the button to a defined value which we're going to be exploring a bit more in the buttons option section in a bit. For this button the type of controller is button, interaction mode is toggle and the assignment is deck A. If I unclick learn here and I press play I can see that in my deck here I have the track playing in deck A. Okay, so let's go on next to the next button. I'm gonna go to add in, I'm gonna go to deck common, and then I'm gonna go down to sync on. So press sync on, learn. I'm gonna press the button on my controller I would like to assign the feature to. And then in the map and detail section, the type of controller is going to be button. The interaction mode is going to be toggle and the assignment is going to be deck A. I'm going to unclick learn and just check that this is working here by clicking sync on and off. Lastly, this third button that I'm going to be showing you is really cool. It maps three different features in Tractor to one button. And I learned this particular uh, macro from Endo. And what this three in one button is, is when I press on this button, what it's going to do is it's going to start the track playing from Hockey One it's going to play the track and it's going to sync the track at the same time. And this is a really cool type of button because sometimes in a set you get really busy and you might not always have time to do all those three things. So this button saves us a lot of time because we get the three functions by pressing the one button. Let's map it. So I'm going to go to add in, I'm going to go to deck common, and I'm going to go to play pause. I'm going to press learn, I'm going to press on the button I'd like um, to use here. The type of controller is going to be button. Oh, just have to get a loop going quickly. Here we go. And interaction mode is going to be direct. The assignment is going to be deck A. 
and in the buttons options, I'm going to go set to value one. Next, I'm going to go to add in that common and sync on. I'm going to press down on the same button here. Type of controller is going to be button. Interaction mode is going to be direct. The assignment is going to be deck A and the buttons option is the set to value is one. Lastly, I'm going to go to add in. I'm going to go to track deck Q, hop down to select slash set and store hot Q. So I'll click that on here. I'm going to click on the same button. The type of controller is going to be button. The interaction mode is going to be hold. Assignment is going to be deck A. And set to value is going to be hot Q1. I'm going to take learn off here. Close this out. Let's just take that loop off here. And I can test out this button. When I press on the button, I have the track starting off from hot Q1, syncing, and also playing at the same time. And this works great for a mix. There we go. So have fun creating your first track and wrapping.